Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com Welcome to the Mary Goulet Show, cultivating a rich interior. Now, here's Mary. Welcome to the program. Yes, your host, Mary Goulet. So I decided because I was driving in this morning to the studio and what am I going to talk about today? And then it dawned on me, why don't I talk about what I love talking about? And that is praying the rosary. I just recently um, met someone and I don't know how it came about, but I'm, I'm pretty transparent when it comes to my faith. I'm a Catholic. I dig the Blessed Mother and Jesus and love the rosary. So my enthusiasm, if given the opportunity, is not preachy. It's just excited. And this person, I gave him a couple of books, you know, How to Pray the Rosary. And then I explained petitions to him, like you can pray and ask the Blessed Mother for something. You may not get it exactly, but you'll get exactly what you need. Anyway, uh, doing that through a novena. And a novena means nine, and there are four mysteries. I'm going to explain this a little bit in case it is interesting to you. So originally, there was only three mysteries, the joyful mysteries, sorrowful mysteries, and the glorious mysteries. Then the luminous mysteries were added, I believe, by John Paul II. And so let me explain what the mysteries are. So they're designed throughout the gospel to highlight the life of Mary, um, the ministry and passion of our Lord. Oh, Pope Pius XII, I guess it was. The, anyway, so it's all throughout the gospel, and they pull little parts so you can kind of meditate while you're praying Hail Marys. So let me go through and tell you which what each one is. The joyful mystery... And we, they're designated on certain days. Mondays and Saturdays are the joyful mysteries. And once you get into this, you start to identify the day by the mystery. So it's much easier to memorize which mysteries you're praying on which days because we do it redundantly. The 54-day novena includes all four mysteries. Um 27 days in a row, you're asking for something at the end of each decade. Then the following 27 days, you're giving thanks to her, no matter what the outcome. And it is truly miraculous. I have one friend I talk, I think my mission in life is helping people get familiar with the rosary and bringing more people to Mary and Jesus because it's, it enriches your life so much. One guy that I taught the rosary probably three years ago, he, in the first year, attributed 17 miracles to it. And some were pretty big miracles. So there's something to it. Try it. Okay, let's go back to, since there are five decades in each rosary, the joyful mystery decades are, the first one, the Annunciation of Gabriel to the Virgin Mary. He, St. Gabriel, went or Archangel Gabriel, excuse me, went to the Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary, and said, you're going to have a child and name him Jesus. And she said, I will take that on, you know, the will of God. Yes, I'll do that. And that's a big emphasis in the Catholic faith is that she said yes, even to something, she's, you know, she wasn't with Joseph, but she was still going to have a child. So that's, that's a big one. The second one is the visitation of the Virgin Mary to her cousin Elizabeth, who had John the Baptist. She was three months, six months pregnant with John the Baptist. When Mary went to Elizabeth, she had to take a long trip to get to Elizabeth. When Elizabeth opened the door, this is a famous line where the Lord leapt in my womb when you appeared because it recognized Jesus in her womb. So John the Baptist and Jesus were only six months apart, basically. 
Then the third mystery of the joyful mystery is the birth of Jesus. So you see how you're following the lineage of first it was Mary, and then Elizabeth, and then Jesus. And then true to Mosaic law, the fourth mystery is the presentation of our Lord in the temple at Jerusalem. And that was, uh, I think Simeon was the one who basically blessed Jesus as an infant. And then the fifth one is the finding the, of the child Jesus in the temple at Jerusalem. Because when he was young, he left to go to the temple and his parents were frantic. Mary and Joseph were scared where he was and they finally found him in the temple, basically preaching a little bit. And learning from the elders. And he basically said, well, why didn't you think I was going to be here? You should have looked here first. It's kind of funny. So then we go to the sorrowful mysteries, which have been my favorite for a long time. Not that I don't love the other ones. It's just, I mean, this is his passion. So the sorrowful mysteries are prayed on Tuesdays and Fridays. And the first one is the agony of our Lord in the Garden of Gethsemane. And a shortened version of that is just saying um, agony in the garden. So I could go back. um, The first joyful mysteries were all from Luke. So if that's something interesting to note, the sorrowful mysteries are all from the Gospel of Matthew. The second one, uh, our Lord is scourged at the pillar, and that could also be just the scourging at the pillar. That's how I remember it. And the scourging at the pillar is very interesting because that leads us to another prayer, which I'm I'm bummed I didn't bring all my little prayer books. In one of the prayer books, I... In one of the prayer books, it's devoted totally to saying a certain amount of prayers every day for the number of wounds that he was inflicted at the scourging at the pillar. And I think that number is, I don't know if I have it exact, but I believe it's like 5,284 blows to his body. And if you pray pray a um, certain number of these you get special graces by him. I will bring that up on another show because that's, I will make a note to myself. That's a good prayer too. It's a devotion. It is definitely one that you got to get into a groove and keep it in your calendar. Like praying the rosary every day, if you can, is just going to bless your life in so many amazing ways. So the third sorrowful mystery is our Lord is crowned with thorns, also known as the crowning of thorns. And then the fourth is carrying of the cross. And more officially, our Lord carries the cross to Calvary. Now, this is all in Matthew. Starts at Matthew 26, 36 through 56 to 27, 33 to 56. And that last one being the crucifixion of our Lord. So in this Novena book that I have, it literally gives a little paragraph explanation of the agony in the garden. It says something. And what Mary's relationship when Jesus was going through that. Because she suffered on a spiritual level, a deep spiritual level with his physical suffering. Okay, the next mystery is the glorious mystery. This is prayed on Wednesdays and Sundays. First one, and this is uh, kind of a little bit here and there. So the resurrection of our Lord is in John 20, 1 through 29. The second one is the ascension of our Lord into heaven, which is beautiful. That's Luke 24, 36 through 53. And then the third one is the descent of the Holy Spirit on the Virgin Mary and the apostles at Pentecost. That comes from Acts 2. 1 through 41. The assumption of the Virgin Mary into heaven is number four. And number five, 
is the coronation of Mary as queen of heaven. Queen of heaven and earth. Now, Mary has a lot of names. And queen of heaven and earth is just one. And I'm not kidding. There's like 30 names for her. Mary, star of the sea, queen of heaven, our lady of success, our lady of Guadalupe. I'll do that list too. I'll make a note. Names of Mary. And then the luminous mysteries are suggested to be prayed on Thursday. The first one, the baptism of our Lord in the Jordan by John, uh, Matthew 3, 13 through 16. Then the next one, the wedding feast at Cana, his first miracle that Mary prompted him to do. And he said, woman, it is not my time. And she turned to the steward and says, do whatever he tells you. Bam. Mary drops the mic because Jesus did whatever his mother asked. Uh, Third, the proclamation of the kingdom of heaven. That's in Mark. First chapter, 14 through 15, the transfiguration of our Lord, Matthew 17, and the institution of the Eucharist at the Last Supper, Matthew 26. Now, after reading through these five, it's very clear to see why these were added to the rosary because that's significant in our faith. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, boy, that went fast. All right, we'll be right back for more on The Mary Goulet Show. things can change in an instant. The Navy Mutual Aid Association, we understand because it's our life too. That's why our dedication to serving the life insurance needs of our military veterans and their families is unrivaled. Navy Mutual offers superior life insurance protection without military service restrictions and limitations. A single focus on providing the peace of mind military families are looking for. That's what we do. Navy Mutual, ensuring those who serve. Call 800-628-6011 or go to NavyMutual.org. Has your business been appified? Are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results? Mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention. Your app from UPG Mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips. UPG Mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique, targeting your message, and improving your open rates. Appify your business and amplify your presence with your customers at upgmobilemarketinggroup.com. One person has the power to change the world, impact millions of lives, and leave a legacy for lifetimes to come. That person is you. In the New York Times bestseller, What is Your What? Steve Ulcher, award-winning author and founder of the Reinvention Workshop, reveals his proven process that has helped thousands of men and women discover, share, and monetize the one thing they were born to do. Grab your free copy now at www.whatisyourwhat.com slash free. That's www.whatisyourwhat.com forward slash free. Take a break from politics. Tune in and learn something. WS Radio shows are worth your time and are filled with tips and advice. Add us to your lunch routine and we'll give you a meal for your mind. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. Be sure to tune in weekly to Vin Village Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. Take a break from politics. Tune in and learn something. WS Radio shows are worth your time and are filled with tips and advice. Add us to your lunch routine and we'll give you a meal for your mind. 
I've been bragging about Progressive Medical Center to you guys for years, and I'm so excited to have Dr. Agoli with us because, Dr. Agoli, a lot of people walk through your doors, and some of their biggest problems are they're just fatigued, they're tired all the time, and even though they're dieting and exercising, they cannot get the weight off. Why is that? It's a combination of poor metabolism, inappropriate eating, but, but more importantly, it's due to a lack of education and really doing the right testing. A lot of our patients are metabolically compromised. What does that mean? Their metabolism is not functioning. The metabolism is responsible for all physical and chemical processes necessary to sustain life, and that includes energy. And without cellular energy, your body is not going to be a burning machine. Let's get back and teach our listeners to be a fat-burning machine. It's been a lot easier to maintain my weight since Progressive Medical Center started treating me with all-natural supplements, learning proper nutrition, and that can be you today. No more frustrations about being tired or overweight. So why don't you get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today through ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. This is your life. Live it well.